Good morning, Brisa's Geckos. Good morning, Mrs. Winkleman. Good morning, Mrs. Attili. Happy ha Friday and happy crazy hair day. Yes, happy crazy hair day. I want to get a good look at your hair. Tell us what your hair looks like. Well, I'm having a little dinosaur party in my hair, actually. There's, they're uh, having some good times in my hair. <laughs> Very cool. I'm going to show mine. And I have a dinosaur party, too. This, is Ev well, this one is Evan, and this one is Lola. My daughter named them. I don't know why that's their names, but that's their names. <laughs> so we're having a dinosaur party in our hair today. Very cute. I can't wait to see everybody's hair. We saw them as you were coming in this morning and it's just so awesome. So students and teachers, flex students too, if you're home, we might not see you. So always you can send your crazy hair pictures to breezesnews at kyrene.org. That's how we're going to make sure that we have a record of that for the yearbook and we, um, we have pictures for the hallway. So send those in if you have them. And we can share in a video, hopefully sometime next week, we'll put them all together and you can see how we celebrated this awesome, um, uh, peaceful achievement um, as a school. So awesome, yes. thanks for fun stuff. All right, a few reminders for everybody. Yeah, so everyone has their links. Uh, links have been sent out to parents so that we can schedule conferences this fall. We're looking forward to that. Um, we do have conferences set for one week. So Wednesday to Wednesday, it's coming up this coming week. Um, so um, we look forward to having some time with your teachers and your parents and all of you as students um, to talk about how things are going this year. So um, if you are talking to, with your mom or dad and you're saying, oh, do I have my, my conference scheduled? And they're like, what conference? Please make sure we send an email to the teacher right away so that we can get that on the on the calendar yep sounds good all right and we have a reminder again virtual pumpkin walk is coming up please watch soon for that link to join us via zoom it is going to be super fun we have not received any submissions yet for our costume contest or our pumpkin decorating contest so remember that is out there and we are going to take submissions for that until the day before so that will be wednesday october 28th that's the last day that we're going to accept any submissions of you dressed up in your costume and and you with any painted or decorated pumpkin, whatever you um, have created, take a picture of that and send it to breezesnews at kyrene.org. We're going to compile all of that and see all of those pictures and shares um, at the virtual pumpkin walk. And then our judges are also going to be using those pictures to choose who had the best, scariest, funniest, cutest costumes and pumpkins um, to make sure we get to award those prizes. And then if you're interested, right after our pumpkin walk is the drive through event that the city of Chandler is hosting for their Halloween spooktacular. So we hope that you will join us for those. All right. All right. We also have our book oh, council. That's the student, student council, council yes. yes. Um, we mentioned that yesterday on morning news that um, for third, fourth, and fifth grade students, you have the opportunity to submit your application to be considered for your class representative for our student council. Uh, those links went out and uh, they need to be returned if you're interested by Wednesday. So this coming Wednesday of next week will be the deadline uh, to submit your interest um, to be considered for student council, please. So please do that. Um, make sure you do that before the deadline and then we will find out the following Monday who will be serving on student council this year. Yay, exciting. All right, and I had an early click, so you saw our little flyer. Let me get that back up here. It, we have our virtual book fair coming up. So Ms. Dodson wanted to make sure everybody knew that Brisa's and Apprende is going to be doing their virtual book fair October 26th to November 1st. Those books, if you order anything, will be delivered to students and distributed to them or Flex families. We will make arrangements for you to come get those. Um, when it starts, we will have a link that will be sent out, and that is how you will um, do your shopping, everything online this year for that virtual book fair. Awesome. All right, well, it's time, our favorite time of Friday to celebrate some PBIS winners. We had two submissions to our, um, with pictures to our form. Remember families, teachers, anyone, if you want to recognize students for being respectful, responsible, and safe, we want to see your pictures that you can attach with any nomination for um, students being respectful, responsible, and safe. So Giovanni's mom wanted to recognize him. He has been working very hard being responsible at home um, with all of the work that he's doing in his flex learning. And this is Olivia. Her dad nominated her, and he said that she is doing an excellent job paying attention to her teacher in kindergarten and um, doing all of her work that is asked of her. So that is wonderful. Well, 
with it being Friday, we had lots of submissions that didn't have pictures. They don't always have to have a picture, but all of those names have been put onto our big wheel. And let me get that big wheel up. It's so exciting. These are going to be our weekly winners. And remember for weekly winners, we put K um, one together and that's Miss Winkleman has holding up the Barrows pizza certificate. Everybody's going to win. Um, so if your name is pulled today, that is your prize. You win a free pizza to Barrows pizza um, that you can enjoy. So our wheel, first wheel is K1. Our second wheel will be two, three students and our third wheel will be four, five and we will pick two winners from each wheel. Are you ready? Yeah. K1 students who have been nominated for being respectful, responsible or safe. Here they are. See who our first winner is, winning a Barrows pizza. Yay, Amelia, congratulations. We are going to get you your Barrows pizza certificate very soon. And here is our other winner from K or first grade. Here it is, Audrey Holly. congratulations. We will make sure that you get your certificate. All right, moving on to second and third graders. Many, many names on there. Remember, these are just names from this week. All of those from people have been. Respectful, responsible, and safe. Yes. Any of those three school rules here with recess, you get celebrated. Yay, Yay Noel. Noel, congratulations. And you know, Mr. Let's... Tilly, as you're pulling up that next spin as you're going, um, I think um, I'm going to um, go and find our students that are in person and we can give them their certificates today. Yay, that would be great. How exciting. Nazreen, yeah, congratulations. And All no right. worries if you are at home learning. We will put it right in the mail today, too. So you'll get it, get it in just a couple days. Yes. All right. And these are our fourth and fifth graders. Lots and lots on there. Let's see who our winners are going to be. We have. Looks like Jason. Congratulations, Jason. Yeah. You win a Barrow's Pizza. And our next winner from fourth and fifth grade. Yay, Amaya, congratulations. I think Amaya's a lucky girl. I feel like we have seen her name before. Congratulations. <laughs> well, Mrs. Winkleman, we have a Whoa, surprise. Look at all those names. Look at all these names. And do you know whose names they are? I do. They are um, our staff. So boys and girls, just like we celebrate when you're being respectful, responsible, and safe, as teachers, everyone that works here at Breeze's, we also um, like to appreciate and admire one another and let us let one another know when there's something that we've done that we really have appreciated. So we would like to do a special drawing today for our staff who have celebrated one another for being um, showing admiration or um, appreciation. And so I have, where is it? Right there. I have a gift certificate in here for $25 Ooh. to Target. So a gift card to Target. And we are going to be recognizing just, I know we should recognize all of our staff, but we, today we're going to recognize one special uh, teacher or instructional assistant, someone on our campus um, who we really do appreciate and admire. So here we go. Are we ready? Lots and lots of names on there. Let's see who it is. $25 to Target. Oh, let's see. Oh, Christy Wilson. Yay, congratulations. She does so much to help us. We totally appreciate and admire her um, and appreciate her being part of Brisa. So this is coming to yes. Ms. Wilson. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ms. Wilson. She has done so much for us too when we were in on-site instruction before students returned to us with breakfast and lunch and helping oh all in so many ways. And, she has done yes. all kinds of things that we've asked her to do. I'm um, not just working in the library and supporting us there, but really, really supporting us in all kinds of ways. Yes. Well, that's, that's great. All right. Well, um, I think we're ready to move on to talking about peace. Yes. And I know you have your handy dandy clipboard there so that you can that's remind right us me. how many peaceful days we have at Breeses. Boys and girls, some of you are new to Breeses. So I just want to remind everyone again that at Breeses, we are always looking for our students, um, 
to be respectful, responsible, and safe. And when students can do that, whether you're here in the building or you're at home learning, um, then we get to celebrate as a whole school. And we do all kinds of fun things to celebrate that. So we just obviously today are celebrating when we got to our 30th Peace Day, um, but now our goal is 45 Peace Days. So let's see if we can get to 45 Peace Days and then you'll be able to vote on how you want to celebrate that accomplishment. So, but we need we need yesterday to be a peaceful day, right? So, Ms. Tilly, remind us, though, how many do we have? So in- far, we have 35 days of peace. Okay, 35. So, we need 10 that today more. Is 36. Two groups of yes. five, 10 more peaceful days, and we can celebrate again. All right. So, I'm crossing my fingers. I know all of you are hopeful as well. Ms. Tilly, was yesterday, Thursday, a peaceful day at Breesis? Well, we checked with our Flex students on social media and their families are continuing to vote. I saw teachers voting yesterday too, lots of votes. So thank you and continue to do that. And we watched all day long to see if students were being respectful, responsible, and safe. And it was a peaceful day. We are on a roll. It's been great. What a peaceful year so far. So that brings us to 36 days of peace and we're working towards our goal of 45. Okay. Yay. All right. Well, I think boys and girls at this time, we're going to start our day of learning. So if you can please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. And let's have a peaceful day. Bye, Breeses Geckos.